5.30. Most of the summer we suffered through a non-stop drought. Now the water spigot has definitely been left on and it's non-stop rain. Drivers on this Sunday having to navigate high water along a number of streets. Plus, City Council looking at a number of proposals on North Beach to help make it more tourist friendly. And we'll take a look at our latest unemployment numbers in the Coastal Bend and they don't seem to be improving. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us here for 3 News at 530. I'm Michael Gibson, and the rain that keeps falling is our top story tonight as some streets have started to fill up with rainwater on this day. Uh, the rain that's been falling all day has certainly turned some of our streets into waterways that you could get a canoe down possibly. Here's what it looked like down Braze Valley on the city's south side. The street connects Snow Goose and Wind Rock and is one block off of Everhart. You can see how high the water was during this afternoon's rain. It started raining this morning and then it really started to come down beginning around one o'clock. The surrounding Club Estate subdivision had a number of streets that were filling up quickly with all of this rain. And here are some tips for driving in high water. If you find yourself in that position, now don't go through high water that's higher than six inches. Keep on moving slowly and stay in the center of the road. That's the highest point of the road. Do not restart the engine if you stall out in the water and don't panic if you get stuck inside. And also pump the brakes once you're clear of the water. Now, Kristen Wallace standing by with a first look at weather. And Kristen, it seems like it's rained so much since mid-August that we have to be caught up right now on our rain for the year. Is that true? Yeah, that seems about right. Michael today here in Corpus Christi at the airport. We got around another half inch of rain and we weren't the only place that got rain today out in Port Aransas. They picked up nearly two and a half inches of rain, one inch up in Rockport, and that was thanks to all of this rain that came through the central coastal bend. It started in the northern part, came through central, and now most of that rain is to our south at this hour. Rainfall this year, we got most of our rain so far in the month of August, you can see. And then for the month of September, I did not include today's rainfall in there, but from the last couple of days, we've gotten just about three quarters of an inch already. And as you remember, we started seeing all this rain, like you said, back in mid August. So in the last four weeks, we've already gotten nearly 12 inches of rain. So for this time period, that is the second most rain that we have seen other than 1953. And normally in this four week period, we see just just under or just over two and a half inches of rain. So taking you back to four weeks ago, this is what our drought monitor looked like, but with nearly 12 inches of rain, this is what it looks like right now. And with today's rainfall, I think we are almost about where we should be in terms of rainfall for this point in the year. Michael. Thanks, Kristen. City Council knows it has a big task on its hands to finally turn North Beach into a tourist Mecca. At its Tuesday meeting, members will be voting on a number of proposals to try and fix the drainage, add lifeguards and even restrooms. Brandon Schaff is here now with the details on what council is being asked to do in an area which is in dire need of an upgrade. Yeah, good evening, Michael, and many of the proposals that City Council will vote on this week are included in the city's new budget. Now, the money coming from the hotel tax revenue, and I spoke with city, a city councilman today who gave me a rundown of some of those big ticket items that City Council could pass as a part of this latest attempt to improve North Beach. Many of us, if not all of us there on City Council right now are, are big fans of North Beach. Uh, we realize that uh, this is a, 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 a economic driver for our city. North Beach is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Coastal Bend. City Councilman Ben Molina says with the amount of people visiting it every year, it's a crucial area with a number of improvements that need to be made to keep those tourists coming back. They're here at the Lexington, they're here at the aquarium, um, and they're also enjoying all the little shops and restaurants uh, located here on North Beach. So it's important uh, that we, we um, make these improvements uh, so that we can continue uh, uh, making this area um, attractive for our tourists. Corpus Christi City Council will vote on multiple North Beach proposals this week to include in the city's 2022-23 budget. Some are already proposed in bond 2022. They are a new North Beach restroom facility, four lifeguards and vehicles, a merchant and vendor pilot incentive program, a North Beach Historical Plaza shade structure, and designs for North Beach Echo Park. Molina also says they're working on rebuilding streets in the area to improve drainage and limit flooding. We've identified that as an issue, and as we move forward, um, 
we, we know that that's something that needs to be addressed, not just from the city as an organization on our side, but also from the property owners here in this area. Molina says the city will meet with a contractor in September to figure out what needs to be done as tons of sand will be trucked in to improve the appearance of the beach. The renourishment of the beach uh, actually is um, uh, to, to help mitigate some of the damage caused by Hurricane Harvey when it hit. Uh, so that uh, drew away a lot of the, uh, the sand and so what we want to do is restore all that area uh, and make it uh, usable uh, for our citizens. Now Molina also says that a timeline for that beach nourishment project will be determined after the city's meeting with contractors in September. Now the rest of the proposals are pending approval by city council when they do that vote on Tuesday. Michael. School begins this week once again over in Uvalde. Our Vanessa Croy spoke with a crisis response coordinator there that as a special canine program will also be back in the schools to help give comfort to those students and teachers returning. Finding a moment of peace in the midst of a tragedy. Just by showing up with dogs, um, whatever the emotions are that the kids or the parents or staff are having or community, they see these golden retrievers and we see smiles, we see tears, just um, whatever emotions um, they have, we want these dogs to bring out and that's their purpose. That's the mission of Canine Comfort Dog Ministry. Bonnie Fear is a canine crisis response coordinator with the ministry through the Lutheran Church Charities. In May, the ministry deployed immediately to Uvalde after the Robb Elementary School shooting. A lot of times when we go to uh, a crisis right after, people are in shock and they really don't wanna talk. Um, so the dogs are perfect to, to show up because they're not judgmental. They're good listeners and people hug them. They give them a big old hug. This week, she introduced us to Devora and Cubby. The two pups from the LCC Canine Ministry will be the first teams to return to Uvalde this week. We will have 30 dogs from 11 states. And for the next three weeks, teams from all over the country will be there to support this community. We, we know what our job is and we're just going to be there for them. Spreading comfort, love and support in their own special way. It's just that quiet presence that these dogs have that we don't have. Vanessa Croy, Ken's Five. And school districts across the Coastal Bend are encouraging students to remember and honor those 21 students and teachers this Tuesday. CCISD, Ben Ketty, Kingsville, George West ISD, and many others have posted to their social media for everyone to join in as they encourage and support those students and teachers who are returning to school. Still to come on 3 News at 530, we'll give you a rundown of the city's Labor Day schedule, what's closed, what's open, and if your garbage is going to still be picked up. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Kristen Walla with the latest on all of our rain that keeps falling, but I looked outside and it looks like it stopped for a second. A little bit, maybe. Right at the airport, though, it does look like it's still raining. That's where this data comes from, but 79 out there right now, and that's where I think we're going to stay pretty much for the rest of this evening. Coming up, I've got your overnight rain chances as well as your Labor Day forecast and if the rain is going to end anytime soon. Don't miss the Lax Labor Day sale. Shop over 800 doorbuster deals like the Caitlin Living Room set, now only $14.95, or the Salino Fireplace at the doorbuster price of $18.75. Save big this Labor Day at Lax. Spectrum presents Stream Home Makeover with JoJo. We transform the Joneses' home, upgrading their entertainment experience with the best TV and internet services from Spectrum. Let's go! With Spectrum TV, you get your favorite channels and streaming apps, plus tons of on-demand. Switch to Spectrum TV and Internet for only $49.99 a month each. Now, with even faster speeds of 300 megabits per second, call 1-844-480-4713. Ready for more? Take a look. <laughs> with the free Spectrum TV app, you can stream live sports, news, and more on all your devices, inside, outside, and on the go. Wow, that's awesome. There's more. 
We powered up the game room with Spectrum Internet, which gives you the fast, reliable speeds you need to power all your devices. And it comes with free security suites so you can feel completely safe and secure. Switch to Spectrum TV and Internet for only $49.99 a month each. Now with speeds of 300 megabits per second. Call 1-844-480-4713. Call now. I was in the way to San Antonio, and it was raining. This ambulance came out of, out of nowhere, and then uh, stopped in front of me. And then I, I, I have to stop, and this trailer with the backhoe hit me twice. Herman and Herman take uh, all the worries away. You know, they call us, and they keep us in, in the loop all the time. See, if a friend of mine get in an accident, I give him the phone number of Herman and Herman. They fight for me, which is good. Celebrate Labor Day and take a load off with Lax Free Delivery. This weekend only, that's a $130 value. Plus, save on over 800 doorbuster deals and take advantage of Lax in-house financing with no interest for up to 48 months. This offer won't last. Hurry into Lax today. How does a 48-year-old ex-guidance counselor become an FBI agent? Uh, life experience. My second act is just getting started. It's still common to walk into many stores and restaurants in our area and see a now hiring sign. Workforce Solutions, the Coastal Bend says the unemployment rate is now back up to 5.8%. And it's really no surprise as COVID-19 did change the job industry. Workforce says now it is no longer an employer's market, but a job seekers market. That's because of all the different jobs there are right now, which are actually in the thousands especially in the healthcare industry, education, uh, food uh, and restaurant and public administration. So um, workintexas.com, we've got over 10,000 jobs available in there for anybody who's looking. And on 3 News at 10, we'll hear from a local public administration department who says they can use more hands. Remember, tomorrow is the Labor Day holiday and most city offices, including City Hall, the libraries and municipal court will all be closed tomorrow. Now, here's a look at how other city services are impacted by the holiday. There is no change to garbage and recycling pickup. That's great news for those people that have a lot of stuff from the weekend. And if your pickup day is Monday, again, it will still be collected. Lozano and Oso golf courses will be open. The HEB Tennis Center will be closed, but the Al Cruz Tennis Center will remain open on Monday. Most public pools are also closed with the exception of Collier and the Natatorium. Animal care services will be closed as well. And if anyone still has plans to hit the road still this holiday weekend, you might want to keep gas in mind. Gas pumps across the state are still holding steady on the price. According to AAA Texas, the average cost of a gallon of regular unleaded is $3.29. Here in town, it's down to around an average of 321 for regular, which is down one cent from last week. By the way, diesel has dropped slightly to 459. It's not much price relief there. Of course, most of us stayed in the area with all the rain we've seen across the state. Kristen will have our complete weather forecast after this short break. And yes, it does include more rain on the way. When it comes to personal injury attorneys, results speak volumes. Thomas J. Henry, available 24-7 nights and weekends. At Conviva Care Center, we're always listening to our patients. Let's hear what they've been saying. Conviva focuses on keeping you well, not just seeing you when you're sick. It's perfect for someone like me. They're the leaders in senior primary care that I want caring for my dad. Even my wife thanks me for telling her about Conviva. I told my friends the one place to trust is Conviva. Call Conviva today, where we help you live your best tomorrows. Conviva. Aging well starts here. My dad died when I was in high school. I had to wait tables at a place just like this to be able to pay for school. It took hard work, but Texas gave me the opportunity to succeed. That's why, as governor, I focus on creating jobs for all Texans by investing in education. 
expanding our energy industry, and by keeping taxes low for our families. We are securing the future of Texas so that everyone has the same opportunities that Texas gave me. Finding the Honda you really want just got easier. With a longer limited warranty, so long. And complimentary oil changes within the first year. You've never been more at peace than with Honda Certified Pre-Owned. People call me all the time and they say, hey, Chris, will you take my small case? No case is small at my law firm. Whether you have a $20,000 case or a multi-million dollar case, you're going to get our full attention. Now accepting Camp Lejeune cases. Tomorrow morning, narrowing our driving you crazy bracket down to the final. Discover how your vote is transforming notoriously bad streets in the coastal bend to favorably drivable ones. On 3 News First Edition. Triple I TV is proud to support the Fall Home and Garden Show, Friday, September 9th to Sunday, September 11th at the American Bank Center Exhibit Hall. Free admission all three days. Visit CorpusChristiHomeAndGarden.com for details. The seven-day weather forecast is sponsored by NEC Co-op Energy. Howdy there, Coastal Bend. We had a little bit of a washout today, to say the least. Here in Corpus Christi, we got about a half inch of rain, and with that, we are just about a half inch below average for the year. So again, remember back to about a month ago, we were nearly 10 inches below normal. So we have definitely caught up with that, and the rain today has kept our high temperatures well below normal. Instead of that normal 93 that we see on uh, September 4th, we saw 84 today here in Corpus Christi but some places didn't even make it out of the 70s. So I'm sure that was a nice little Labor Day weekend treat for some of y'all out there. Right now, most of the rain has fizzled out here in the coastal bend, but there is still some pretty good activity down here to our south, just to the south of Clayburg County. But taking you through the rest of your evening, we will start to see those scattered showers fizzle out. But going into tomorrow morning, we will see the return of those showers on our radar, waking up in the 70s around the coastal bend, and then those showers are already going to continue into the lunchtime hour. So again, under a blanket of clouds tomorrow, the rain chances aren't quite as widespread, but they still may prevent some of your Labor Day plans. Again, those showers continuing into the afternoon, but by tomorrow evening, we should be drying out a little bit and having a dry overnight. And then again, Tuesday morning, here's that rain back on the radar, and then that will push inland uh, with the sea breeze on Tuesday afternoon. So gr uh, grab the umbrella both tomorrow and Tuesday morning on your way out the door. And for your Labor Day grill cast, you may want to use caution. We've got our nice little food selection right here, uh, burgers and hot dogs, anything that's really quick, you know, half an hour on the grill, no problem there. But anything that takes a little bit longer, like the ribs and uh, uh, brisket, probably a no go because there's not going to be a wide enough window, I think, of time that will be dry enough to do those things. Right now, taking a look at our great state of Texas, we've got this stationary front right here firing up some storms up there, but I want to focus more on the upper atmosphere rather than those surface fronts. You can see we've got the jet stream right here and this trough that's in the middle of it. And as long as we're on the right side of this line, that's going to give us some uplift in the atmosphere and upward motion, which we need for clouds and storms to form. So as long as we're on the right side of that and we've got all this moisture down here, we're going to see some rain here today day tomorrow and a little bit into Tuesday as well. But once this jet stream starts to take off and this low pressure starts to form, that's going to drag drier air down here into Texas and whip that moisture into the southeast United States rather here rather than here in Texas. So you can see our rain chances are pretty steady, a little bit up and down right here, but going into the weekend, they've stayed pretty much at a 30% chance. Tonight, 70s around the coastal bend, so pretty mild, couple scattered showers with a blanket of clouds, 85 tomorrow here in Corpus Christi, and another 
pretty quiet or not quiet, a pretty mild day of weather. So again, those uh, blanket of clouds and scattered showers tomorrow afternoon for your Labor Day. The rain chances are going to continue for the next couple days, unfortunately, but maybe by the weekend, if you're not a fan of the wetter weather, if you like the drier and the hotter weather, then maybe we've got something in store for you finally. <laughs> well, we complained because it wasn't raining, and now we're going to complain because yes. it rains too much. Exactly. What can you do? <laughs> but I'll take the rain overnight. Yes, I will take the cooler temperatures, absolutely. <laughs> oh, every day. Thanks, Christine. You know, we've got more news on the way, which includes yet another price hike at yet another business. Sands Club says you're going to have to pay more for a membership if you want to shop in its stores. That story much more after this short break. If you have advanced non-small cell lung cancer, your first treatment could be a chemo-free combination of two immunotherapies that works differently. It could mean a chance to live longer. Opdiva Plus Your Voice for adults newly diagnosed with non-small cell lung cancer that is spread, tests positive for pd one and does not have an abnormal EGFR or ALK gene. Together, Opdiva Plus Your Voice helps your immune system launch a response that fights cancer in two different ways. Opdiva Plus Your Voice equals a chance for more time together, more family time, more time to remember. Updevo and Yervoy can cause your immune system to harm healthy parts of your body during and after treatment. These problems can be severe and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you have a cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, irregular heartbeat, diarrhea, constipation, severe stomach pain, nausea or vomiting, dizziness, fainting, eye problems, extreme tiredness, changes in appetite, thirst or urine, rash, itching, confusion, memory problems, muscle pain or weakness, joint pain, flushing or fever. These are not all the possible side effects. Problems can occur together and more often when Updevo is used with Yervoy. Tell your doctor about all medical conditions, including including immune or nervous system problems if you've had or plan to have an organ or stem cell transplant or received chest radiation. Here's to a chance to live longer. Ask your doctor about the combination of two immunotherapies of Devo plus your voice. Thank you to all those in our clinical trials. The Corpus Christi Fall Home and Garden Show is here. Ready to help transform your home from this to the space of your dreams. Find builders and remodelers, kitchen and bath ideas, plus everything for outdoor living. One place, one weekend, all your projects solved. The great experiences you have in here, and even out here, all started here. Because the best customer experience always leaves a great impression. GMC, awarded number one in sales satisfaction by JD Power. Sierra models are arriving weekly at your local GMC dealers, available for immediate delivery with 0% financing. We are professional grade GMC. Time to try some Golden Chick. These are the new Wicked Wings. Six wings in a roll for just $6.99. The crunch. Okay. The spice. It has a good crunch. Crunch. Everybody's going to start using that one. Golden Chick. I'm going to have to ask for a spelling on that later. <laughs> A new shot to fight against COVID-19 is expected to be available around the state coming this week. The CDC and FDA signed off on an updated booster that targets the Omicron variant, plus its two subvariants. The vaccine is rolling out now in hopes of avoiding a spike in cases and hospitalizations this winter. The CDC allocated about 900,000 of those updated boosters to Texas. And Friday was the last day to request free test. Now the website covidtest.gov shows a banner at the top saying the program is suspended because Congress hasn't provided additional funding to replenish the nation's stockpiles of those tests. And in your... And in your consumer news, Sam's Club is raising its membership price by $5 from 45 to 50 bucks. It's the first change to the fee at the Warehouse Club in some nine years and goes into effect next month. The cost of a premium membership plan is also going up from $100 to $110. Sam's Club said it will offer $5 in rewards to shoppers with a basic membership and $10 to premium customers as a perk for renewing under the new pricing structure. Walmart has withdrawn its lawsuit to sell liquor in its stores around our state. That lawsuit was filed last summer, challenging a part of the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Code that bans publicly traded retailers from owning liquor stores. 
The company did not say why it withdrew the lawsuit, but it's likely that they're going to try and file again. Walmart originally filed a lawsuit to sell liquor back in 2015 and won three years later, though. The Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals reversed it in 2019. As of now, the only alcohol available in stores is beer and wine. Still to come here on 3 News, a final look at our rainy forecast with Kristen Wallace. Stay with us.